One afternoon on a busy street, there's a long line full of people waiting for their turn to buy banh mi. You can hear people cackling, muttering, and hollering. The sound of spoons and forks scraping against each other is everywhere. The sweet taste of the Vietnamese baguette is making people want to eat more. Steam rises in the air around the restaurant. Ban mi is part of Vietnamese culture, and many locals and tourists enjoy eating it. Ban mi became part of Vietnamese culture when a bakery called Be Le created it. Slowly, people tried ban mi and liked it. Because of that, it became extremely popular around Vietnam. Ban mi has a strong connection to the land because of the wheat used to make it. The climate needed to grow the wheat is 21 to 24 Celsius, so it is mostly grown in the northern mountain ranges. Many people may think that ban mi is sustainable and that there are no threats, but there are. One threat to ban mi is that the prices for the ingredients are increasing, which makes the ban mi shops increase the price for their ban mi. This is what a ban mi expert said. Uh, if you have a good taste and you have the, the uh, good quality ingredients uh, to put inside the ban mi, you can keep the ban mi keep going on. If if not, it will be out, run out. One way we can solve this problem is by advertising higher quality ban mi or change the location of their ban mi shops to the center of the city, where tourists mostly visit. It has been a long, tiring day for the ban mi shop. The sun is setting and the customers are slowly going home. The smell of freshly cooked meat and the spices has drifted away. Doors are closed and the sound of motorbikes and cars has disappeared. The shop is now closed for the day and is preparing for another busy day.